Welcome back. We are here on Eater looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 4th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us on our Patreon, where you get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So, We'll look at the S&P 500, but this was an absolutely a horrible day for the indices. They just completely fell apart, especially the tech sector. So the S&P 500, uh, we broke the 50 moving average. We're actually trading underneath the 50 moving average at this point. We did that as well only a few days ago, and we did it also here nearly in the beginning of February. So, uh, so yes, it is. We have done it before, and then we we have rallied. So. We are trading at 3,816. Uh, 3,800 should be uh, quite a uh, quite a lot of people will probably start buying into that uh, price level. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can look uh, we can see that we are probably far off from the Fibonacci retracement. We could actually drop all the way down to 3,600, uh, 700. Also down here at the 50, that's 3,600, and then the 61.8 is at 3,000. 523 and that's right at the 200 moving average so it is possible uh, we are breaking the 50 moving average um, and these technical indicators are uh, not all turning around stochastic is still flat MACD is very 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 bearish but if it crosses zero then that is uh, basically a huge warning for for the S&P 500 we can see what happened here when we crossed it to, towards zero we dropped all the way, almost all the way down to the 200 moving average so that is something that people should look after that if this uh, macd crosses zero then this is going to drop like a rock so let's look at the dow jones so the dow did not fall as uh, hard as the s&p and especially the nasdaq did today we are trading right at the 20 exponential at the 31257 Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is stochastic, is bullish. MACD is bearish, and the CCI is bearish, and so is the RSI. So momentum is technically to the downside. We'll probably fall towards the 50 moving average at the 31,000, give or take. Um, and if that proves proves to be support, then we'll most likely turn around and head back towards 32,000. Break below that, well, that opens the door to much lower levels. We can look at. Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that the reason why we had the 48.2 here at the 31,257, then we have the 50 right here where we tested it only a few days ago, and then the 60 right here. Um, after that, we go significantly lower, but uh, we'll most likely test the 50. I would be fairly surprised if we didn't fall towards the 50 within the next few trading days uh, before going higher so let's look at the nasdaq so this just continues to fall off a cliff and if we go back it shouldn't be a surprise so this is basically the start of the pandemic if we basically had this massive fall a breakdown of basically the two to three weeks we found the market fell 35 uh, 35% and then we just rallied and just see this massive rally compared to the previous period so the slope in this period here compared to the slope of this period well that doesn't really make any sense this start is beginning to start to look like more like bitcoin and and uh, when you have growth that almost goes this exponentially then you're going to see more volatility. We saw it back here in September and also in the beginning in, in October. And uh, we saw this move as well. This was basically in the end of January. And now we're uh, witnessing another uh, significant move to the downside. We, we fell from 30, uh, 13,900 and now we're trading at 12,681. So we did break the previous lows here, and um, this candlestick just looks uh, horrible. It is basically a full body, and that basically, you can see here what happened when we had a full body. We fell even further. The same goes for here. We continued falling further. So 
basically people are selling until the end of the of the session and that is not a good sign that will most likely continue tomorrow as well so it doesn't mean that we won't see additional rallies but these rallies that we have witnessed up towards the 20 they have been sold into and also they rally up towards the 50 that has also been sold into so these moving averages are no longer acting as support they are acting like resistance so rallying up towards these moving averages that is basically where people are looking for and in order to sell it to lower levels so how low we basically can go we can look at Fibonacci retracement here and we can see that the reason why we stopped right here is that we are right at the first Fibonacci retracement so 38.2 uh, that is the first then we could drop if this breaks we could drop to the 50 that is at 12,300 uh, give or take and then after that we'll could drop to the uh, 61.8 that is at 11,900 or around 12,000 and 12,000 would be a, an area of considerable interest because we have the 200 moving average right here and uh, yes a lot of buying will occur there so yes most tech companies have have rallied substantially over 100 200 400 percent for some of these companies and uh, their valuation or the stock valuation at the moment is it is fairly ridiculous and most of them are uh, big ones are pulling back now so it is not uh, strange that we also see this massive uh, fall in the nasdaq it's just a matter of how far this will basically go and um, fibonacci retracement that could be um could be an answer how far this market goes if we break this level here we go to go to 50 we could drop all the way down to 12,000. technical indicators here are looking dreadful there's still a lot of room to the downside we're 38 this could drop down towards 20 if you look uh, how far we went here this is what a 26 when we basically dropped were in this level here so it could drop all the way down to the 20s and probably all and even lower than that so let's look at the DAX. So the DAX did not, it did fall. Uh, it created this inverted hammer here. However, technical indicators are still very bullish for the DAX. So we're trading above the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average. And uh, yes, it won't basically fall apart until we break these two moving averages. Um, even after that, we'll probably find major resistance at these previous lows here at the 13,300, uh, give or take. But as long as we are above the 20 and the 50, there is uh, no massive warning for this. And also the technical indicators are fairly bullish. But this is an inverted hammer. We could roll around here and head towards the downside. So let's look at the UK 100. Let's see. And we can see that we have pulled back. We rallied towards these previous highs and then pulled back towards the 50, but we're still trading above the 50. So technically, the uh, MACD is flat, but others are fairly bullish at this point. So it's on the same thing here as in DAX. If we break the 50 and the 20, then we could head towards uh, 6,500. But it, until now, this is acting as support. And uh, therefore, we could also rally to the upside. So it is um, technically a waiting game for both the DAX and also the UK 100 here. Uh, whether or not we break down from here or we rally. Uh, yes. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.